Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and this is FS port. So let's go ahead and continue the playthrough here. And... Uh, Good morning, pilots. Oh, I'm gonna get see. right to it. The Sheevan forces are sprouting up everywhere, and it's no secret that our front lines are taking a beating. As you probably know, no one has been able to communicate with them, and Terran intelligence has no leads on their origins or their motives. On the upside, their shielding technology seems to be working just fine for us. By this afternoon, all fighters stationed on the Galatea will have been fitted with them. Try to keep them intact, all right? The cruiser Tyrannus is suspected to be the source of command for the Sheevans in this sector. It's here in the IKEA system, and we suspect it's low on fighters and supplies due to its recent attack runs. We have reason to believe it will soon jump to another system to resupply. We don't know where it will jump to, but there is only one subspace node out of IKEA, and we intend to blockade it. In the interest of learning more about the Slippery Bastards, we're going to attempt something bold. The capture of the Tyrannus. If this goes off, it will give us an opportunity to study Sheevan technology up close, and bag a few live Sheevans in the process. In order to do this, we will conduct a series of missions designed to take out the cruiser's escorts and defenses. Time to chip away at the boulder, people. That is all. Report to your flight leaders for your orders. Dismissed! Alright, so it looks like we're going to be doing a little head. raid here. Tyrannus is on her last leg. Delta and Epsilon wings have destroyed most of the Tyrannus' fighter escort. It is time to finish the job. To this end, Terran Command has sent a full wing of Athena bombers equipped with... Oh good, it looks like we're going to be uh, doing bombing missions, which are actually my favorites. But, uh, as I was going to say, uh, this is actually going to be the last video for Act 1, which, uh, Free Space like to split the games off into acts and, uh, you know, kind of like the movie, but, uh, nothing really big with that, just, uh, something interesting to know. ...and is now ready for use. It can be used to destroy subsystems on any ship. More effective than the disruptor can. So this is basically just an advanced version of the disruptor, or just uh, on a missile. The little homing capabilities are limited, so make sure you get a clean shot before you launch. The stiletto should be especially useful in destroying the Tyrannus' engines and weapon systems. All Athena bombers will be equipped with stilettos and okay. will be piloted by Alpha Wing. So this looks like it'll be an interesting mission. The Kane class cruiser Tyrannus has been chased from the Beta Cygni system back to the IKEA system. It is low on supplies, and due to recent engagements, it is lightly guarded. Ten parts to this briefing. Long range sensors indicate that only two fighters and three bombers remain to protect the Tyrannus. Okay, yeah, that's not, not too bad. Tyrannus is heading for the Beta Cygni subspace node, where it will probably resupply. This will allow for a small window of opportunity in which to conduct a strike. Your primary objective is to disable and disarm the Tyrannus in order to enable its capture. This will be our first attempt to capture a so major like we'll, vessel. Uh, so it looks like we'll be bagging us a cruiser unless a uh, monkey wrench gets thrown in the plan. Alpha Wing will be flying Athena bombers. These bombers just arrived okay, on the Galatea. Okay, like, uh, going to have two bomb. escorts, the stiletto is capable which should of make it a lot easier. Hit. Alpha's primary responsibility will be to disarm and disable the Tyrannus. And it's saying that the stilettos can do uh, one-hit damage, so uh, from fighter attacks. that they should make this very, very fighters. easy. Gamma Wing will fly Valkyries and I mean, uh, any hostile fighter saw in the last the mission area. that the objective if for capturing a cruiser was entirely possible. And that we actually had to resort to some dirty rotten cheats just to get the mission to move forward. Omega transport will and I looked it up and actually when the the, what you're supposed to do to get around that little glitch is actually the shoot the cruiser down yourself, but, uh, you know, they specifically tell you not to do that. So I think that shows another little weakness in the... how the, this whole thing is set up. Let's see. Looks like they are giving me Furies and Stilettos. Let's see, I'm going to actually switch those out for... Ah, it's unable to carry those for some reason. I want to switch it out for some homing missiles, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Alright. And, uh, Beta Wing to, uh, cover me, and 
order Gamma Wing to cover yes, me as well. Order, uh, let's see, I should probably actually order Alpha Wing to, uh, disarm the target. Disarming your target. And I'm going to target its engines. Get the stilettos locked on here. So the rest of my, uh, people are going to be attempting to take out the, uh, weapons on this thing. Okay, looks like I've got somebody shooting at me, but, uh, I've got two wings of fighters on cover duty, so that shouldn't be a problem. Unless they shoot missiles at me. Okay, still got one more. Okay, good. Uh, the little yellow things are the, uh, missile indicators, basically, to tell you exactly where the missile is. Okay, that did not want to hit the engines. Enemy wing just arrived. Yeah, they're not one hitting the engines. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out the weapons now that I've taken out the engines. There we go. What's well, disarmed? I guess they want you to target the actual weapon specifically instead of the weapon subsystem, which uh, I suppose that's another change between the two games. At this point, it's basically a matter of time. Also noticing that destroy uh, Krishna. Oh, okay, that actually just disappeared. So, and they came back anyways. So, this thing does not handle well. Okay, I need to move away here. Because I uh, decided to fly straight into the thing because I'm an idiot. How many weapons does this thing have? I mean, I know it's a cruiser. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have a feeling that uh, they're probably going to attack this. Let's see, where's the. Uh... Okay, there's no protect my target thing. Where's Omega? Omega 1. I'm trying to dock with the alien ship here. Give it a second try, you're just going to like sit there and not do anything. Roger, sir. On our way. It hey, looks like a few uh, enemy fighters are the coming in. Stop them. So, let's take these people out. Still surprised that this thing could not hold. Uh, MX-50s, considering this is a bomber and those are just uh, very small missiles. Yeah, well, Gamma 2, maybe you should fly better. I shouldn't say that, because I fly horribly and I'm probably going to, like, ram into something and die. Because of karma. There we go. see two transports on here, so that should be, uh, second transport trying to dock right there. Penetrating the hull will take some time. Stand by. Enemy wing just arrived. Sounds like he was successfully able to get in there. 
so in the meantime, I'm going to see what I can do here. Nice to be able to swap out from when the mission changes. Roger, sir. On our way. Probably should rearm right here just because I'm sure there's going to be more uh, problems. Enemy wing has just yep. arrived. Let's see if we can take him out while he's just sitting here. same subspace node that uh, this cruiser was going to to resupply. 
I mean, the nodes aren't like magical, uh, they're, they're not like mass relays from Mass Effect. You can't just go into a node and jump wherever. They're point to point, they're wormholes basically. Uh, you go through the node, you jump through the node, and you jump to a specific system, and the node only goes between the two systems. It does not, uh, you know, you can't just use a node and go to several different systems in there. And you jump out at the same exact place in both systems. Uh, you know, if I were to somehow be able to jump to uh, Beta Signi and then jump back here, you know, I'd come out at that node. I wouldn't come out at some random point, so I don't see why they couldn't have a, had a contingency plan or something in place at the node, or why it was so important to stop this weekend loser before it got to the node. It just seems like uh, not something that should have been a problem. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. And I'm just out of missiles again, so well, I'm out of missiles to actually really do any damage. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Not taking out the rest of these fighters. There we go. Come on, you fly boys, give me some cover. Screw yourself, Vader, too. are actually really hard to take out with no missiles. Uh, let's see, I think if I just switch to one weapon, it increases its fire rate. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm going to do a lot more damage with the Avenger than I am with the uh, Disruptor on these guys, because the Disruptor doesn't do really any damage at all. It just uh, basically harms subsystems. Let's go ahead and let's support Doc. I think from here on out, the missions do start to go longer up until the 15 minute range, which, uh, you know, isn't a bad thing. You know, it kind of sucks when you have a briefing that's longer than the mission. Looks like they are almost at the node. See if we can catch up with them really quick. Don't know why he's flying in the other direction there, but maybe he's heading for the support ship or something. But yeah, they're already in the nodes, so they should be jumping away here any second now. Looks like it took out Gamma Wing entirely. Uh, I guess I had some mission over music, so let's go ahead and jump back to base. And finish up Act 1 of the game. Congratulations, Alpha One. They have a We're medal for in good the first capture of a major Shivan vessel. The Halkins is taking her to the Tomba station, where engineers will be able to a lot of other medals to win here, but uh, their methods and motives. I guess they're basically the equivalent to achievements before achievements were really a In thing. Of your uh, you get these the for uh, have been awarded the medal of good basically conduct. achieving a certain level of. Uh, success in a mission. It has to be a specific mission. The medals are scripted in. 
But anyways, until next time, I am Trekkie1701C, and please remember to subscribe and comment.